So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple method of solving the group anagram uh, challenge. And that method is simply called sorted, the sorted key, uh, the sorted keys method. What does it mean? It means that we are going to use a dictionary and the keys of this dictionary is going to be the sorted version of these words. And take note that if you get the sorted version of this word, it will actually be the same for all the anagrams. So what are we saying? So let's start by creating this dictionary. Let's call this part the sorted key. And let's call this part the words. Okay? So we start from the first one. We read the first one, and what do we do? We are going to create, we are going to get the sorted of this element, and the sorted of it is the same thing as A E T, right? So this will now be the sorted key. So if this sorted key is not in the dictionary, we are going to simply add it and then add the corresponding word. So I'm going to simply come here and add A, E, T, and then start a new list and add the corresponding word E, A, T. We are going to move to the next one and we are going to get the sorted of this. Now you know why it's called the sorted keys approach. So this, the sorted of T, E, A is going to be the same as this, which is this, and we are simply going to update this list because we have the sorted available in the dictionary and therefore we're going to add TEA right here. We move to the next one. The next one is TAN, the sorted of TAN is equal to ANT. It's not in the dictionary and therefore we are going to add it to the dictionary and then ANT and then update the corresponding word T. A N. We move to the next one, uh, which is A T E. So the sorted, the sorted for A T E is equal to A E T. Of course, the sorted is here, so we are going to simply add the corresponding word A T E. We move on to the next one, and N A T. We find the sorted of N A T and that is going to be the same as this which is A N T and it's already there which is A N T right here we are simply going to update it with the corresponding word N A T. We move on to the next one which is the last one but we are going to find the sorted version of that word which is B A T and it's going to be A uh, B A T right A B T which is A B T and of course it's not there so we add it and simply add the corresponding word B A T and at this point we completed uh, going through all the words so we simply have to close off our list and at the end of the day we simply return dictionary dot values assuming that this hash table we are creating here we call it D so we simply return d.values and it's going to give us this list of lists right here. So let's go ahead to write this in lead code and let's see how it plays out. So the writing of this is actually very easy, exactly the way I explained it. So let me see if I can increase the font a little bit. Great. So the first thing we want to do here is to create a dictionary, which is d is equal to an empty dictionary. And then we are going to begin iterating the, the list of items. So I'm going to say for, for word in STRS, and we are going to now, now when you do for word in STRS, we are going to get sorted of that word, we're going to go get sorted of word, but this sorted of word is going to return a list of items. So if, for instance, if I print it out, let me just show you what I'm saying. If I print it out, it's not going to give us just one word. It's going to give us a list. So if I run this now, you can see that uh, it displays list. So instead of having one single word, it's displaying a list of items. 
So to solve the problem, we are simply going to join to a join to join up the list into a word. So we are going to concatenate with an empty string using the join operator, and this is going to more or less give us exactly what we want. So if I run this code now, you are going to see that it gives us single words instead of uh, a list of words. Okay, so we are not printing anything. So let me take out this and take out this. So basically. We are going to simply uh, say sk is equal to this. Uh, I don't know why it's marking this, right? Okay, so this will be our sk and it will be this particular word, okay? And that's going to be our sk. Now, let me kind of increase the font a little more. Okay, so I understand, you understand why we have uh, to the join down and we have our sk, which is the first sorted key. We are going to now check if sk in d, if it's there, we are simply going to update it by saying sk, sorry, we are going to say d sk.append, and we are going to specify s, uh, sorry, the, 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 the word, which is, um, yeah, so it's going to be the word, word. I think it should be. Okay, so this is what we have and we are going to go to the next condition that says else is else. It means that this word is not in the dictionary. Uh, we are simply now going to add it. So we are going to say dsk is equal to create a new list and then place that word in there. Okay, so at the end of the day, what are we going to return? We are going to simply return uh, the the values exactly like this okay so this should be it I think it should work now so let's just try to run it and see what we have so you can see that it gave us the right answer and then let's go ahead to submit this code and see what we have All right, so it worked well and it says faster than 99.39 of Python online submissions. And runtime is 84 milliseconds, that's pretty good. And I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if this has been informative. Also like this video and leave me a comment to let me know what challenges you would like me to solve next.